Okay, we're going to continue improving that interface for the user for pictures. And the next thing we're going to do is add a new page to help the users upload pictures. Because I don't want them to have to use FTP, anything like that. Well, they actually can, but I just want to give them a simple thing they can do here. So I've already done this on another website, and we'll probably just copy and paste most of that code. But the first thing we'll do is come in here to the admin folder and make a page called Upload Pictures. And again, there's nothing special with the name here. It's just just a name. And then what we'll do is set the tile Just put that in a heading here. You know, I think I should put that in a class. Let's see. Oops. <coughs> All of our headings are in some class, I believe. Yeah, class content title. So we'll just grab this and put it over on that upload pictures page. Okay, so the, for the interface on this, then what we're going to do is, like I said, just copy some stuff from another site I've done this for. So we've got a paragraph that kind of describes what's going on. We'll modify this a little bit. And then the main thing that we use is this, uh, oops, is let's look at this file upload control. So we'll paste this in. And again, the big thing that we want to worry about here is this file upload control and if this is just kind of a normal HTML control what it converts to um, but allows people to browse grab pictures and put them up there but the only thing we want to do is make sure they're actually getting a picture so we'll have some VB code that checks so we're going to say GIF JPEG and we'll also let them do PNGs and then we'll take this out because we're not going to worry about thumbnails I'm just going to put a little message in here. We'll just say 600 pixels. Newsletter, so I think I think that's the only place we're using this newsletter product. We're not we're not having pictures on the events. Okay, um, and then they can either just put in the name, who they can browse to find it, and then blah blah blah. So um, that's the content page. Now let's go get the VB code for this one. Put in our V, VB over here, and I'm just going to copy all this, and we'll talk about it. I think some of it could use some changing here, but um, the first thing we do is here is hide the uh, the label. And so we just make the text nothing. We could actually set the visi toggle the visibility, but let's just leave it this way so we're not messing around with it. And down in here, this is a big one. When they actually, so the user goes, browses, finds a picture, and we'll demo this in a minute. But when they click that button to say upload it, uh, it's going to try to put it in to this directory. And I'm going to change this to images. I think that's what we call it. And then, yeah, images. And then, um, we check to see if that file load control, if it has a file, then let's go down here and do some stuff. And we're just going to check, do a 
simple check here um, to see if it's got the right extension. Uh, I'm not sure. Let's see. Okay, we convert these things to lowercase. So regardless of what they type in there, if we go and get the name of the file that they typed in there. Then we um, build a little array of these allowed extensions. And then we walk through this array and just check to see if the extension on our file is the same as one of these allowed ones and it's okay. Otherwise, it's not okay. So we actually set file okay to false up here. But So if it finds one of these extensions, it sets it to true. Then we say if the file's okay, let's go through here and uh, upload it. But if it's not okay, then let's uh, display this error message. So let's save this and then give it a shot. So here on this page we'll come and oops, do not save everything. Oh, I'm sorry, I didn't put a link on that page. So we need to go to our admin default page and add a link. Let's see, so upload picture. So there we go. Reload this page. There's our uploaded picture link. We can click on this. Oh, you know, I need to put that inside uh, one of our divs. Let's just demo this again. We can browse around, find a picture. You know, all these are in there already. But let's try. We'll go over here to one of the other ones. Um, I'll put one of the logos in there. So we'll grab the. Um, Nike logo, say open, and now it has it in there. Now we can click on the upload file, and it says file uploaded. But if we try to put one in here that says, um, oh, come on, thumbs.db, open that, then say upload file, it says, hey, you can't do that. Okay, so um, anyway, that's it for this one.